Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's Facebook Live. We've got Hamish um, joining us today. Good morning, everyone. Uh, head of car safety at Silver Cross. Yeah. And um, we've got the brand new um, Silver Cross Motion All Size 360 with us as well. So you're going to chat us through it. Absolutely. Um, good morning, everyone. Hope you're well. Uh, so this is a, it's a complete first for Silver Cross, uh, this product. It's yeah. uh, launching... And a first generally in car seats as well uh, for a yeah. lot of things, isn't it? It's, it's the first of its kind in, in that it's a rotating, all size uh, R129 approved product. So we're super excited about this launch. It's Definitely. a really um, huge one for us. Our, um, our build up has been really exciting so far and we've got stocks coming in this week. So it's all, all very fresh, yeah. um, all very exciting. But yeah, it, it does everything you need, essentially. It's the only car seat, only car you, seat need you need to buy. How's that for a price, <laughs> definitely. I'm just going to have a quick look, make sure we're on here. Everybody's joining us. Good morning, um, everybody. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Gemma. Good morning, Daniel, Georgia, Kirsty. Michelle, Joe, lots of people joining us. So, um, anybody that comments on the live today is entered to win one of these fab car seats for yourself worth three hundred and seventy-five pounds. So, make sure you ask us any of your questions, whether it's car seat safety and about the car seat. Just join in with the chat. Sure. Um, so, should we show you how it works? Yeah, yeah, we absolutely. Can... So, kind of work through the stages. So, as Hamish said, it is um, a car seat that will last you from birth right up to twelve years old and kind of go through the stages. So that's why it's the only car seat you'll need. Exactly. And um, yeah, we've got uh, the different stages for use. So uh, as you fit it into the car um, to begin with, you've got your ice fix fittings on the back. Uh, really simple to install and adjust them. You've just got a lever on the side there. They extend outwards. You clip them on and then push, push the seat back. And then you've got your support leg. You adjust that. Yeah, so it's just your three points that you're looking at, isn't it? To yeah. connect and you're ready to Three go. points fitting in. You don't need to worry about an adult seat belt to hold the seat in at all. It's just the isofix and your support leg. Uh, we've, we've checked it in around 600 cars to make sure it fits. That's a lot. Um, that information is all on our website. It's on our, on our app. I was going Silver to say, Silver Cross do have a really good app. I know when I've reviewed the car seats before, it's really handy to have. Um, this will obviously be on there as well, along with the other car seats. Yeah, this one will be on the app. We're just updating it at the minute to include this model. So in the next coming, coming days, it will be on the app as well. Yeah. Um, and to get the app, you can search Silver Cross in the, um, in the Google Store, or in the App Store. Yeah. Um, or you can just scan um, the QR code. So on our seats, you'll notice we have these QR codes uh, on the support leg um, and on the side here also. If you scan that with your phone, just put it into the camera mode, it will yep. automatically take you to the app find store. It. It's just about making it. car seat safety, isn't it? Simple. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Before we set out on our car seat a journey, we, we looked at launching the whole range of car seats. The biggest thing we found was people were confused. Uh, when they're buying a car seat, there's so much to take yeah. in, so many different messaging, so many different ways to fit the product. We wanted to try and take all of that away. So car safety made simple is, is our core messaging mm. really. Um, so this is, is, sits right within that piece, you know, being isofix support leg fits very easily. Um, the other part of this is the rotation. Rotation is so useful when, when using the seat, when adjusting and when securing the child in, in safely. And, and to do that on the seat, we've got the button on the front here. You just so if you're familiar with the motion, which is the, the original car seat of like this, then it's, everything is very similar in how it works and where things are, isn't it? Yeah, completely. Um, Motion was our, our first rotating seat, a great seat, yeah. R129 approved, very um, thoroughly safety tested, but it only went to about four years of age, yeah. 105 centimetres. So once you got to the, that, you had to get another car seat. Um, whereas the beauty of this one, you can just convert it, you can stow the harness and you can continue using it up as in, in fact we've got half a kilo more usage in the harness yeah. in this one we've lost some of the weight in the seat so yep. we can fit a heavier occupant in essentially um, but the, the design of it uh, and the function in terms of rotation is very much the same as motion uh, but what you would notice if you put both products side by side is the base of this is much thinner um, so the seating position to start with is a little lower which gives us more depth to grow into the seat. And so they're, they're actually, not hitting the, the roof with yeah, their head. Yeah, they're not kind of like <laughs> getting squashed in, in, the, 
in the headlining of the vehicle. As well, because it's a seat that will last longer, I suppose that's enabling it. It's a lower position, so it's easy for them to then, as, when they're older, more independent, they can climb the car seat themselves. Exactly, easy, can't they? yeah, so they, they, they can get in easier. It's at starting at that lower point. Um, the seat shell as well is a completely new design. Uh, so quite often you'll see these sort of multi-stage seats on the market and they take like a zero one seat up to four years of age and then they just adjust the headrest up so it can go higher. But the seat shell is still based on that original design up yeah. to four years of age. So for this one, we completely redesigned the shell as well. It was so the first thing that, I saw when, yeah. I, when I saw it this morning. I said, oh, the seat shell is so much taller than, than the original. Yeah. It, and slimmer. It, it, Exactly. So we've got that extra longevity when, when you're expanding the harness up and the headrest. We've got eight headrest positions on this one as well. Yep. So on the original motion, we just had five. So we've got a lot more flexibility there. And the eight usable positions, you know, um, some products you have like 20 different positions, but yeah. they're only moving a tiny, tiny fraction, whereas these are eight, you know, decent steps. Um, in terms of rotation, we've got a button on the front here. Uh, we've redesigned that as well to making it easier to access and, and a little bit more ergonomic. Yep. You'll see that that's got green on it at the moment, so that means it's locked in. Um, it's your traveling position. Traveling position, yep. So as we unlock that, you'll see now we've got the red indicator on there, yep. so it's not locked in, it's not safe to use in that position. But as we lock it in, that flips back to show our green, green indicator. Tab. So you're just rotating that around um, to, your, to your door. And now if you're to be fitting the little one in, you've got a, a straight on approach so you don't need to worry about twisting or no. getting a hernia or getting you know an unhappy child booting you in the face it's just <laughs> really simple to get them in and you can really focus on getting the harness adjusted check all the heights are okay yeah it's a game changer it um, is it's next stage seats especially spin seats is what everybody wants straight away if not from birth, but definitely for the next stage when it's a toddler, trying to get them in that car seat, you've got eye to eye contact, them, like get in that seat and really tighten them up. Yeah, it's, it's that convenience. And what we found as well through personal usage of these seats, they're great for those first few journeys with a little one as well. Um, for our first few journeys um, with my eldest, my wife would sit in the back with her. Mm. And if we wanted to pull over to feed, you could just rotate the seat. You didn't yeah. have to get out and go around no, and get them yeah. out. So you could just rotate it towards you take the little one out, feed them, and then put them back in, you know, yeah. from in either the direction, the with it being 360. It, yeah, so a real, real simple approach there. Um, comfort is absolute key for all of our seats as well. You'll notice um, we have these adjustable inserts, which we'll take out in a minute. We have bamboo fabric on the seats. All of our seats in the range yep. have a bamboo fabric, which is brilliant for hot weather that we've mm. got at the moment. It's just wick, does it, it wicks the, the yeah, moisture away, doesn't it? it? It's anti-wicking properties where it draws moisture away from, from the hot chard. So as they're sweating, they're not going to be sat in a sweaty seat. It's going to draw that away yeah. and keep them a little bit cooler. It won't completely chill them out, but no. it's going to make them comfortable for longer. Mm -hmm. um, the fabric is antibacterial as well. Brilliant for sensitive skin. You know, all of the comfort in here it's is so super. Um, the amount of customers I've shown the seat to and they want one for themselves because it's <laughs> yeah. just so, You're so You're going to make an adult size? No. Maybe, we won't rule it out. <laughs> it's a different different market market for us. But um, yeah, it's it's just super comfy, super easy, easy to use. So as we're in this position here, this would be our kind of loading position. Yep. So you'd load little one in and out. You've also got your recline on the front here so you can adjust this angle of the seat here. So we've got three steps. We've got a fully reclined position there. We've got a mid position and then we've got an upright position. So when we're using it rearward facing, we'll always have it in the full recline position because yep. it's the most comfortable position. It the gives smaller ones. The smaller ones that are leaning back really nicely, nice and um, relaxed. As well when they're rear facing because the incline of the seat is, is tends to be a little bit more, doesn't it? When they're yeah. rear facing, it's just keeping them so they're not. That's it. Um, with the vehicle seat, you have a little angle typically of it as it tips up. The recline angle on this is the same as what we have on our original motion seat, which is a great angle. It's a real comfortable angle. Yeah. Um, quite often you see rear facing seats quite upright. Yeah. Um, and, and like you say, Kelly, they're leaning forward. They're not very comfortable in the no. seat. I appreciate it's a hard, hard balance, isn't it? Because in a, a collision, it's safer for them to be a little bit more at right. But at the same time, they need to be comfy. And especially newborns, which you can use this for, need to be in a, in a yeah. more inclined position. Yeah, we're, we're looking for the, the seat shell to really absorb and manage energy in an impact. So if you've yeah. got it completely live flat, 
the sheet shell is not really doing as much. No. Whereas if you've got a bit of an angle, the back and, and the spine, and you know, that'll absorb some of the impact. It'll put less load on the neck. Which is um, the, obviously what we want. The part we want to protect, absolutely. Yeah. So um, we've got a recline function on there, um, and then we can go fully reared facing. We just um, adjust the position to recline. So as it can be used from birth, this would be your first position that you would use it in, in the car, rear facing, and your fully reclined position to use from birth. Yeah, that's it. So that would be how you'd set it up for those, you know, that first period. Yeah. You can use it um, reared up to 18.5 kilos, uh, about 105 centimetres, whichever comes first. Yep. So, um, yeah, from birth up to that, that age. Yeah, you can use it in, in the rearward. So you've got that, that choice there. Um, you can turn it forward facing from 15 months. And that's the, the regulation. Um, With it being eye size tested. Exactly. But we try and promote reared facing for as long as you can. Um, mm. You'll get to a point where the little one will want to turn forward facing. There's a bit of a tough one there where you've got to say, no, darling, stay, stay reared facing. Yeah. Um, but it, it's suitable for, you know, whatever the parent is, is uh, how they're using it. They might be switching into a smaller car and they might prefer the forward facing mode. But you want to aim as long as you can. Yeah. Rear yeah. So the fact that you can do it for the entire time, four years, um, if you want to, that is obviously great. Yeah, absolutely. So um, you've got it in this position to start with. As the little one grows, you're going to want to start adjusting the seat. Um, we've got the headrest in the lowest position there. Typically what you'd, you'd do to start with, you'd look at adjusting some of the inserts out of the seat. And it depends really on how a little one grows. So yeah. um, we don't, prescribe you need to take this out at certain stages because you know you could have it a really short on, little one yeah. or really tall um, but as, as you see there are starting to get uncomfortable in the in the seat you can pop the head so generally off. the first bit is going to be your head part isn't typically, it generally yeah, i know obviously typically. you're going to have have variants but yeah it, it's probably a close call between the head hugger and then your side wings mm -hmm. um, so you, you can take your head hugger out you can they're all just pop it in so very simple to remove yep and then you can take your side wings up. These off. are lovely and thick, aren't they? Adding that extra side impact protection. Yeah, we've got a really brilliant memory foam in there, cushioning memory foam. So it's, it's comforting, but it's yeah. also protecting as mm. well. Um, it's stopping little on moving around in the seat. It's just the most comfortable seat to be in. You're really kind of cocooned mm. in there, nice and snug. And generally newborns like that as well, don't they? they, they the, mm. It's a big world that they're coming out yeah. into. So to be a bit more cocooned in their car seat is a bit more comfortable. Yeah, they, they exactly want that sort of feeling of safety. And you know, quite often you put them in a car seat and it's like a big empty space and they're not comfortable, not near no. mum. And, and bit... one of the things that Joe uses all the time, I know William's had this before, is our squished tomato thing. So having a jar with a, a tiny tomato in it, squish, shake it up like you would in a collision of car seat, <laughs> obviously going to get a damaged tomato. If you have a bigger tomato, beef tomato, or something right, in yeah. there, shake it up, it's contained in there, it's not going to have the damage. So having more support in there, although they may have looked like they've got less room, it's actually more important for them. Yeah, it, it's, as we see, we sort of, took a lot of our thinking um, from, from Formula One. Yeah. Uh, my, I started my career crash testing F1 cars. That was, I'm, I'm an F1 mega geek and, and always will be, but one of the things we found with, with Formula One and motorsport, they really cocoon the driver yeah. in the seat. And it's exactly that reason, because if you can cocoon them nice and tight, then you're not getting that movement within yeah. the seat. It makes them you know, super safe. And that, that's the, the stages here. So we can remove these inserts. We've then got the main body insert in there. Um, and again, it's really up to, up to the parent and the child when you want to remove that from the seat. I've, I've got my daughter still in the original motion. I still use that insert. And how um, is she? She's coming up to, she'll be four in September and she's very tall, yeah. um, but it just gives her a more reclined position in the seat. And it is a bit more comfort as well. because She's got extra padding yeah. on there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when you get to that stage, you can then remove that insert and you'll see we've got much more space within the seat. So that's got the wedge on the back, so it's important yeah. for a newborn baby to keep them into a flat position. Yeah, we've got a, a very nice wedge on the back there, which again, it just it brings um, baby's lower body upwards, reclines yeah. them a little bit, and it's it's filled with a foam material in there, so it's it's breathing some, some air through there, keeping them cool. All of these covers are machine washable. Brilliant, that's what we like um, to hear. <laughs> it's needed a yeah. lot, um, <laughs> found out a lot recently. Oh. Um, 
you just need to take your foams out. So you just open the pockets, you take the foams out yep. from putting in the machine. And then when you put them in the machine, it's just a 30 degree um, wash with no, no detergents yeah. and, and that's fine. Um, and the whole cover as well, you can we'll remove that and, and take that off. Somebody said to us about when you're putting them back on, put them on slightly damp because it's easier to get them back on and stretched over the top apparently. Yeah, I mean, we, we when we design our seats, we, we wash them a ton of times and just check for any um, shrinkage yeah, in the fabric. Maybe. Sometimes you can get a little bit of shrinkage in different fabrics and we make sure that there isn't um, any shrinkage or we allow it in so that the fabrics do go on and off. But yeah. Um, yeah, it does help because it's a bit more malleable to get it on, but it's not exactly required. No, um, you can still put it on when it's completely dry. I'm just going to have a quick look to make see if anybody's got any questions on what we've been doing at the moment. Lots of see people excited to have a look at it today, and they've been looking at car seats. Um, I'm so excited to see this. Can't wait to order mine, says Becky. Really? Would love to win this. Oh, Sarah has postponed her meeting this afternoon just so she could attend today. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Well, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Birth up to 12. That's amazing. Uh, loving spin car seats. Makes a big difference. Um, Natalie says she doesn't have a car seat yet for a 10-day-old baby girl, so she'd love to win. Fab prize. Uh, let's have a look. Can't wait to see all the features. What's the app called, Char Charlotte's asked? Yeah, so all you need to do is search Silver Cross in the app store and it, just and it will up. come up. It yeah. should be number one. Um, and you can do that on our, is it um, the app, the Google store yeah. or the i store, the app store? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm not, I'm not <laughs> iPhone, so I, I would going, use the Google store. But yeah, yeah. whichever app you use, if app you store, thank app you, store, William. <laughs> you'll, you'll find it. But yeah, if you, um, you, know, if you don't have that, you can go on our website and you can get it or you can just scan, scan the QR it. code yeah. on the product. They're so loving the idea of an app. What a great invention. Uh, looks very comfy and snug. Love the fact that it lasts till they're out of a car seat. Yeah, because generally people are going to go three through three car seats generally for a child. Aren't yeah, they? it's always how it has been. That's typically it. you get your kind of newborn infant carrier, yeah. um, which lasts to about a year, fifteen months, depending on the model. Then you go for like a next stage, which would have like been our, our original motion. motion. Yeah. Um, and then when they're getting to that four years of age, you might get a high back booster. Um, but it, it varies. And there's also multi-stage seats as well, which go yeah. from like 15 months up to 12. Our balance eye size <coughs> is one of those. Does but that, yeah. you don't get the rotation on that seat. No. It's, it's, it's slightly... combining all the great features yeah. in one seat. Yeah, we, you know, we launched our range um, in 2019 um, with four seats. We had the Dream Infant Carrier, which is the, the safest ADAC tested infant carrier on the market. 1.5 1. 1. score. 1.5 score, yeah, so the, the lower that number, the better. Um, and we, we got a 1.5. It was the most exciting time to, to get that score. We're super proud. Absolutely. Um, so the dream was, yes, yeah, it's, it's a dream for us. Uh, hopefully yeah. a dream for anyone using it. And um, we then had the motion. So all, all the product names were meant to be around the stage of your child. As they're going through. Yeah. I mean, when we were looking at car seats and developing them, we, we figured that a lot of brands had very confusing product names, so there was nothing really tied. Lots of it numbers, in. lots of letters sometimes. Yeah, and, and yeah. lots of products looking very similar, but with a, an X on the end or a two. And it's like, oh, no how, how, we're finding this confusing. We do car seats all day long. Yeah. How would Same a, a customer, you know, a new parent with a ton of other things to think about, understand this? So we wanted to make the name simple. So dream was that first journey. It's a dream. Hopefully, going they're going to sleep a lot in that car seat. Sleeping a lot, fingers crossed. Um, and, and then the second one was motion. So as they're growing and they're getting a bit more movement and also you could rotate the seat. So yep. it had like a second meaning. And then the next one was balance as they're starting to walk. And then the high back boost of the final one was called discover. So when they're out, like having their own little adventures, discover. And yeah. it's very easy to remember that because, yeah. you know, the amount of times I ask my friends, what car seat have you got? And they're like, oh, we've got, uh, they, they can sometimes yeah, they get the know. brand, yeah. but they don't know the model. No. And, we just wanted to take that confusion out, especially when you're shopping as well, because you might think, oh, what, what one's what? For this product, if you're looking, you'll see the Motion Eye Size mm -hmm. is, is the current one, and this is the Motion All <coughs> Size 360. So anyone that's searching for that, just remember those all terms. sizes. All size, it's in the name. Yeah, it absolutely <laughs> is. Yeah, just adding that on it just cl clarifies exactly what it can do. Yeah. Um, Emily's downloading the app now, so she's already on it. Brilliant. Fab feature. Um, Amy, she's bought the um, Motion. Definitely have bought this if it had been released um, when she had bought that car seat. Um, let's have a look. Amazing that you can use it for such a long time. Awesome prize. Great idea with the QR codes. Love any products with a large weight bracket. Last so much longer and great value for money. 
loving the brand Fantastic. Silver Cross. Yeah, lots of great comments. I'm just seeing if there's any questions. Rotation, rotation is the must have, especially as uh, we've got a C-section. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's it, another reason. Really helpful for that. You know, Tears that first six to two, six weeks to two months, you know, when you don't want to be lifting and you need to look after yourself. Bending you know, over, you don't want to be doing that. Yeah, or... it's not yeah, it's not a natural move you want to be making. <coughs> so this just no. takes that away. You know, you can load the little one in so much easier. It's perfect for, for C sections and um yeah, I, I I struggle now myself even putting a child in a forward facing seat or a weird one which, which doesn't rotate because I'm so used, used to it. Used to it, that ease of, of getting in, it's such a better position. Um, sorry, late to the live, what age is it from until all ages? It's, all, <laughs> it's the all size, Tiffany, so it's from birth up to 12 years old, goes through all the stages and grows with your child. Uh, Jack, I need to see where the button is to work out how good it is for a three door car. Um, so it's right at the front there, yeah. so you could just reach, couldn't you, if they're, God, throw, if they're rear facing, spin it around and you've got the access yeah. to it at the front. So that's your, your button there at the front. Um, you can reach from, from any uh, point to get that. I mean, we did look at that a lot when we were developing it because sometimes you have this, the button on the side. Yeah. But yeah, exactly. If you're in a three door, you can't get to that. No. You're leaning over. You can just reach down, can't you? Really accessible at the front. Um, Sky's asked, does it fit in any car? Um, well, we've checked over 600 <coughs> cars and it fits in almost any car with an Isofix um, and one that doesn't have the underfloor storage. Saying um, that though, I've just bought a new car and it's not a new, new car, but it's new for me. And it's a Peugeot 5008 and they said they've reinforced the yeah, storage boxes. They, they've sort of, the car brands have caught up a little bit. Yeah. There was a period where they had these underfloor Storage yeah, a lot of family cars have them, don't they? Yeah, and they're, they're nice to have, but you can't really put anything useful in them. No, and if you've got a, a car seat with a, a leg, it's making, you've either got to extend down to the floor inside yeah. it or see if they've got some kind of filler for some it. Some of them have little filler blocks that you can put yeah. in. Uh, but now, as you say, Kelly, like your new car, they're re reinforcing them. Yeah, so which is are, great for me to hear. They are safe. Um, sometimes you can adjust your positioning, push it back in so that it's not where the leg is. You can, you can adjust that. Yeah. But all of those vehicles that we've checked, you can look on our app. Yep. Um, if yeah, you've no. got anyone, you know, if you've got a vehicle that isn't on our app, just drop us a note to our customer service and we'll check it. Um, things to look out for is, is the space with the seat in front. Um, you want to have some level of gap between this and the seat. What gap do you say? So, so that was rear facing. What yeah, kind of gap do you want to hear? As long as it's not pushing up and loading on the seat in front. You know, if there's, there's, you know, if it's, it's, there's a very, very light contact and it's really just the fabric's touching, that's yeah. fine. Just but not we bracing on it. Yeah, we don't want it to be kind of loading on it so that the seat in front's doing the work and yeah. not it's our It's going to interfere what it's doing, isn't it? Yeah, we, we've tested... Um, the car seat in 32 different configurations during the crash testing. So 32 different, um, you know, si well, six different size dummies from birth up until uh, the biggest dummy. Um, and then we've done like um, side impact, reclined, upright, you know, every configuration. But it's all covered. what we don't do with it, we don't have a seat in front that it can load upon. No, because um, of the rigs that they, they test them. Yeah, it's just a space in front. So um, yeah, as long as you, you can move it around, it's fine. Um, but yeah, if there's any vehicle not on our app, just um, drop us a note and we'll make sure we can check that. And Sometimes it it's just a physical fit, isn't it? Just seeing that it does everything that it should be able to do. Yeah, yeah. But most vehicles with an Isofix, it should fit. Yeah. And you can also check in your vehicle handbook if you've got um, like an eye size vehicle, it will say that in the handbook. Although. Yeah. The handbook's about 600 pages long. It's quite hard <laughs> to find. You find it. If you don't want to do that, just yeah. drop it. And some have note. certain restrictions, don't they? Like you're not allowed car seats in certain positions. So yeah, check your manual as well, because that can sometimes be a factor. Yeah, it? yeah, definitely. Somebody said choosing a car seat is more difficult than finding a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not with this one. <laughs> this, this hopes to alleviate most of that hassle. Uh, yeah, Tiffany, like you said earlier about knowing which car seat you've got, she's not got no idea what hers is called. <laughs> They've all got their fingers crossed. Are these available to buy now? Donna's asked. Yeah, so we, we, we've got um, pre-orders on at the moment. Stock's arriving in this week. Um, so yeah, super excited. For I think we've got on the website pre-order now for August. So yeah. Yeah, we're, not, we're not far off now, We're not we? far off. It's only a couple of scary, isn't it? It's only a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, they're on pre-order. Uh, we've been working on it for a long, long time. So we're just really excited now that it's finally here and Ready customers can, can get their hands on it. Um, but also one, one point on the app um, is actually fitting the seat. So you can check on the app the vehicles it fits in, but we've got CGI video showing the seats fitted. 
and we've broken it down into five steps for all of our seats. Yeah. So no matter how complex I got five simple steps and you can play back and you can watch them again. You can just go through it at your own stage, can't you? Rather than watching a YouTube video that's like, oh, this is how you fit. Yeah. And you, you can, gotta keep pausing it, you but can you can just. Jump step to step and there's comments on that as well. So if you wanted to kind of do it while you're at the car, you could put it above the car, and listen, and listen to it as you're, as you're fitting in. Yeah. Um, it just makes it so simple. And what we found, um, William's behind the camera and I'll vouch for this as well, men, we don't read instruction manuals. <laughs> it's the first thing we do is put them in the bin. You know, I don't need that. I and then do this. 10 minutes later, we're scratching on YouTube <laughs> and the wife's like, well, why don't you know how to fit it? Um, so that takes, again, you know, all that away. Yeah. And you can, if you've got like, you know, grandparents or anyone else that's looking after the kids, you can just get them the app. So they've got it on their phone. They yeah. can keep, it's you know, just check a simpler way rather than flicking through a load of pages and trying to work out what you're doing. It's just so simple. Yeah. Um, and we, we do have the instruction manuals on the app as well. If anyone does really you want, want to, to go through that yeah. detail, you can download them on the app, one click, yeah. and you've got that all there. So it doesn't matter if you lose your physical copy of your instructions, you've got it all there tanned at yeah. all times. Um, so many pros to this, I with other brands on the market, definitely the best 360 out there. Well, it's the only i-size, all, all stage um, 360 car seat, so definitely. Love to win, it looks perfect, it's great. Does it come in any of the colours? We just have our donning, so it's our black Donington colorway. Um, yeah. And we launched all of the seats in this colorway because what we found is our customers just loved the, the, the quality, the feel and the texture detail yeah. of our fabrics. Um, but it worked in the car fantastically, so it suits the car interior. Um, we haven't got any other colors at the moment. It's something we always review and, um, and see what we have, but we wanted to have you know, a color that works for, for boys and girls, and it's, it's universal, mm -hmm. essentially. Yeah, for um, any car, any child. But yeah, if you've got any um, demand or colours, just comment, let us know. Yeah. What, we'll, uh, what colour do you want to see it in? Yeah, let, let us know that. We, we can review it and see what um, we can put into our, our new updates. Um, Jackie's asking about it turning into a high-back booster. How easy is it to do, and do you lose the harness? Yeah, we, we can do it. We can, yeah. we can do it now. So um, as we're sort of working through the stages, we'd, if we were at that kind of stage now where the little ones are about 18 and a half kilos or 105 centimeters they've outgrown the harness it's likely that your headrest would have been in a bit of a higher position so it'd maybe be in a uh, position around that this kind point of position. here yeah um, um you, i know we didn't mention but you did put these in um, your little grippers here so it makes it a lot easier you've got your little toggles you just put the uh, harness buckle through it and it holds it out of the way, it's a lot easier to get them in and out sink. Yeah, the amount of times you try and put a child in the seat and they sit on the harness on it, and, and you you've got to have this wrestling yeah. match. Yeah. And then they're really good at wrestling kids, grappling you. So <laughs> yeah. we, we, we put it to the side so you can put them in. Um, a neat little feature about these hooks is they're actually made from like a UV material there. So when you've got them in a dark car, um, you can see them, they, they glow at right. night. Um, so, you know, easy access on, on them. Yep. And, and that's the same for our branding on the sides. So we've got our Silver Cross branding on here, which it has like a UV um, a material in it, a UV property, so that you know anyone, um, if you had an accident or anything, everyone will spot there's a car seat in there, so that's going to shine bright. Straight away to get to the child. And... It, exactly. So it's like a safety part on there as yeah. well, and it, it looks you know it looks stunning as well. But, yeah, but it does in the dark. So if you're at this stage where your um, your little one's outgrowing the harness, you need to stow it away. Uh, you, you could do this in the car or you could, you could leave it in the car to do this or you, you could take it out. Yep. You just want to take off your, your fabrics for the lower part of the harness, so the little uh, crotch protector. And these it's fabrics. nice that you've got waist um, padding as well because most car seats it's just your, your harness pads, your shoulder straps, isn't yeah. it, that they have the, heart, the covers on. But this yeah, is quite on typically you, you don't get them. No. And again, when we were developing the range, we found that's a real sort of point that can be quite uncomfortable for the mm. little one if, if that strap is kind of loading in on their um, on their pelvis it, it needs to because that's how we manage the energy it's the right place for it yeah. but we wanted just to cushion that so we added these these parts on now yep. once you take them off you can if you like take these harness pads off or you can leave them on um, if you're in you know in a hurry and you're swapping it between regularly you can leave well, them on because that's the other thing isn't it because it covers all sizes it doesn't matter who's got the car seat or which child they've got with them on that day it can completely convert to whoever you've got yeah um so in those cases you might want to leave them on because you've, you've got them there um and, and it doesn't impact how you fit it but if you do want to take them off you just got a hook on the back there it's a metal yep. hook you, you unhook them do the velcro so once you've got the harness those pads off 
Just make sure you've got the harness um, fairly loose and that's so you'll let the headrest go to the, the higher positions. Yep. You then want to stow the, the buckle body away. All you need to do is pull the fabrics off the front of the shell. So they pull forwards and just around this part here. So there's a little handle there. That will come up. And, and then if you can see, there's a little gap here. You'll just like post the buckle through. And through there's the a gap little, in the material. Yeah, and there's a little compartment down here. So it just sits in that compartment there. So it's out of the way. It's not bother them when they're sitting on it's it afterwards, It's not going to bother it? them. And then we've got the padding on top here to keep them nice and comfortable. And then you just put those fabrics back on the front. And that's, you're halfway there now. Yeah, that's, so that's really quick and easy to do, isn't it? Um, we should have timed us. <laughs> we, we should have. have. I could have done it on my watch. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the second stage, really simple. So you've got this flap here, you lift this up. This has got our quilted fabric on here, really um, beautifully comfortable fabric. Yeah. We, we took inspiration from Bentley on that. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so you, you lift that flap up. And so then, say if you could drive a Bentley, this will um, <laughs> blend seamlessly in with your Bentley. Ideal. Um, and then we take this, pat this um, section off the back here. We've got four poppers. poppers. In the back here as well, we've got an instruction manual storage part here. So you can put the instruction manual if you want to keep it, it with the seat. Yep. And then we're just putting the, the buckle down into the sides here. It sits down into the side and the, the fabric is going onto the back there. And you do the same on the other side. So that's just locating into the back. And then you put your poppers back up. So you do your four poppers. And really, that is it. We're now good to go in that next stage. How about booster mode? Yep. Yeah, so we're in, we're in high back booster now. Um, we can go forward facing and we've got the adult belt which will go through our green belt guides here. We've also got our green belt guide on the headrest. So, so people um, generally will be used to seeing red and green on car seats. Yes. Yeah. So we're now, uh, red and blue sorry, and we're now moved to green. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's, it's a confusing point because you used to have blue for rearward facing and red for forward facing. Yeah. Um, and they had two different colours because sometimes you'd get one car seat that had forward and rearward. So you needed to have red and blue to kind to, of differentiate. To go a different way with the seat belt. Um, but it's very confusing and, and customers didn't really know what the colours meant. Yeah. And they, it was quite easy to misuse it. So with the new regulation, they made all the guides green and you can only have one routing on the seat. So you can't have like two different routings that you need to convert. It's the same way. You can only have one. So yeah, they're all green on, on the latest seats. And so like seat this one is green because obviously you're only using the vehicle seat belt when it's a high back booster. So it's only got one way that the seat belt's going to travel through. That's it. Yeah. So your, your seat belt would be coming through the lap guides here and they're really sort of engaging the belt on the pelvis, keeping it nice, yep. nice and tight. And it's nice as well because it's just a little slot to go in. So once they get a bit more independent, they're not having to hook around anything. It just naturally would just fall into the yeah. scat, wouldn't it? I know yeah. a lot of people miss putting them underneath on a, on a high back booster sometimes. It, it's but that's quite just... easy to miss that. Yeah. Um, and, and as long as you're getting that engaged into those guys, it's good. And what you would tend to do when you've got it in this configuration, you'd keep the diagonal belt in this guide, you'd hook it in. Um, so there's a green guide at the top it's here. Just in here. Um, you you hook it into that guide and then you just leave it in the car when it's in that guide. So yeah. then when the little one gets in, you just need to pull it over into the buck. You don't need to worry about putting it in and out each no. time. And because it's always isofixed in, it's not a worry that you've got to put that across them. If you've not got isofix on a high back booster, you have to um, keep belting it back in, don't you? Yeah. Um, when the child's not in it, but you yeah. really don't have to worry about that because it's all fitted. Can you still use the recline in the high back booster mode? Yeah, you can use the three different positions. So we've got it in that that's the most reclined position at the moment. You can use your mid or your upright position, depending on, on the journey. Well, like my nine year old, we had to go pick his dad up yesterday. He fell asleep in the yeah. car and I'm like, you're nine. <laughs> but it's, it's like that magic motion of being in the car straight asleep. So having something like this that you can still recline up to those older ages is great. Yeah, it, it's not many products can do that. No. Um, we found that with our, our balance size size. We launched that with recline in all modes, but no other product really offered that. And it's no. really important that um, for us, that comfort piece, if, if the little one's not comfortable, yeah it's just going to distract everyone on, on yeah. the journey and make that journey feel so much longer. For everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Emma, I love the way it goes around at the sides, look really comfy and safe. Uh, Marissa said it's really interesting having, I think she's referring to the reclines on there. 
Um, very easy to change over. It doesn't look flimsy like some car seats. No, it's a solid seat, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's very well engineered, and you know it needs to be because of the loads that we need to test it to. Yeah. Um, we we've developed parts of the seat to manage energy as well. So we've got our side impact structure, um, which is developed to dissipate energy around the side of the seat. So again, protecting the child. And um, again, made simple. It's not something you've got to add on the side. It's just built into the seat. It's there. Ready to do you know, it. we, we kind of call it always, always on. You know, quite often mm. you need to pop open a flap or twist something open. It's easy. So you've got to, to remember forget. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Looks nice in the older seat too. Love it, says Emma. Uh, Marissa agrees. It can get also confusing. Really didn't take much effort or time to change it around, says Donna. Great that you don't have to remove the harness completely and risk losing it. Very good design. Dawn says she loves her silver cross motion. Her daughter never wants to get out of it. So rather than not get in it, she wants to get out of it. I feel we should time it when we convert it back. We can yeah. see. Yeah, we should <laughs> and see how how, really how it. quick. Will they feel the buckle under them, said Sky? No, because you've got this padding over the top and the little slot that it goes into. Yeah, we've um, got a, a very thick wadding padding on the bottom of there, yeah. so they, they won't feel that buckle, buckle under them at all. Yeah, Rachel said they removed the buckle and straps um, from their last car seat and then lost them. That's another thing because quite often you have to remove them on this, yeah. it's still there, so you can't lose them. You might, you know, misplace the, the other fabrics, but they're not completely essential, whereas yeah. your buckle, your harness is. You can't use it for a young child without that. Yeah, and, and you don't have that risk of when you're putting it back on, putting it back on incorrectly, because no. there's no, you know, it's, it's just there. Yeah, like having to rethread it back through or something. I had a whole, an older car I see that I had to. Yeah, I know the one. <laughs> it's, yeah. a, it's a tough one. And, and yeah, then, you know, it's that story, isn't it? You go to the next stage, we're not having another little one. So let's just throw it away and then if yeah. <laughs> something happens and second one comes along and you need it. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. It's all there ready to use for another child again. Um, but obviously, because it lasts so long, you'd be struggling. You don't need a bigger age gap to actually <laughs> yeah. get a second child in there. Um, harness weight limit, Molly's uh, Sarah has asked, it's 18.5 kilos, so um, slightly more than your standard 18 kilo harness. Yeah, half a kilo more there. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know, For some children that could make a big difference. In, yeah, it's that age. age when you know you probably still want 18. You, know, you probably still want a little bit more in that harness, and you might be worried because if they're if they're 18, you know, if they're 17.9, does that mean you need to swap? You've got 18.5, so you've got a bit, a bit of more. Yeah. Uh, what speed is it crash tested to? Becky's asked. Sure. So we crash test um, in a few different ways. So we do the R129 testing, which is 30 miles an hour, uh, but then we do our ADAP testing as well so we do that ourselves and that goes up to 40 miles an hour so that's it, it's you know 10 it's, miles it's an hour over. higher yeah. um the, the one question we always get is you know you can drive at 70 why don't you crash test at 70. the crash testing is all based on accident data so they look at data of real accidents and from that we try and find out what the majority of accidents are yeah. and the majority in, in europe are around that kind of 30 miles an hour um, because normally by the time you, you're, you're hitting something, you've pushed the brakes, you're slowing down, it's very rare that you're going at such at speed, speed into something. So we, got, we go above and beyond that. Um, ultimately, we could test to like 70 miles an hour, but what you'd end up is a very, very heavy seat. Um, it wouldn't perform well in, in other groups and it would be quite restricted. So we yeah. go uh, you know, as far as we can on the crash testing for our products. Brilliant. Uh, Corey says she loves the breathable features, um, really good for these hot muggy days that we're having. Definitely, it's warm at the minute. <laughs> if anybody's pregnant and watching, how are you coping with it? We, we do feel for you. We it's, do, um, definitely yeah, do. Not the best time to no. be pregnant. <laughs> no, well done Silver Cross, this is incredible. Fingers crossed for winning. Love the recline, even when older. Would last for years and years, so impressive. Um, Becky says definitely a good recline and high back booster. My son always falls asleep in his. Um, crazy thinking all three of my children, Emma's, Emma said, would fit in this seat because she's got a six month old, a seven year old and an 11 year old. Wow, yeah. yeah. So what are the heights? Just looking at the heights um, that they can go in it. So it's 76 to 105 centimetres with your harness. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you, well, you've got 40 to 105 with the harness. Uh, sorry, forward facing. Um, so yeah. that's, yeah, forward facing 76 to 105. Yeah. Um, and then once that harness, once you got to 105, there is a bit of an overlap. So you can go from 100 to 145 with the adult seatbelt yep. um, configuration. So you, you've kind of got those different stages there. Um, but we, so again, that's something that goes further, isn't it? 145 centimetres, it's more than the law, yeah, which is UK, legal. Yeah, in the UK it's but... 135 
or 12 years of age, whichever the little one reaches first. Um, and we go, yeah, 10 centimetres further because we sell a lot of products in, in Europe where it's a little bit different. In Germany, yeah. it goes a little bit higher. Um, and we, we want to offer that safety. We want to offer that longevity, basically. Mm -hmm. So it goes uh, 10 centimetres higher. And it could just be that you've got a really tall, older child, but they're not, you're not really wanting to take them out of a car seat yet. Maybe they're still younger, yeah. but tall. It, it's going to cater for them as well, isn't it? The other kind of good thing about that age as well when they're at that stage when they're getting to that point where they don't really want to be in a car seat what we've had um, in terms of other our products is the feedback is the kids like the car seat because it looks really cool mm. you know they feel a bit more adult a bit more grown up in it so I suppose not, that's the thing about not having all different colors and patterns something that they might like when they're four they're not necessarily going to like sitting right, in when yeah. they're ten <laughs> so yeah having this plain nice quality fabric is going to see them through the ages that way as well yeah they have like a sort of a, a pride towards yeah, their car seat yeah. which it just makes it again easier getting them in the car seat because you don't have to kind of have this convincing like, please sit in your pretty pink car seat <laughs> from when you were four <laughs> uh, what age does it stop being rear facing so you can rear face the entire time 18.5 kilos and then when they go into the high back booster um, with a vehicle seat belt you'd need to turn them forward facing so you can rear face the entire time yeah so yeah um again like 18.5 kilos or 105 centimeters whichever <coughs> gets they get to sooner first yeah. and then you can adjust about four years old though isn't it yeah about. on average uh, my daughter would last in this until she's 20 at the rate she goes <laughs> <Jackie said. laughs> oh, you got a diddy one yeah. comfy for older kids too amazing and um, sky loves how you know so much about the car thing yeah it's um probably an unhealthy passion for me <laughs> um I've, I've worked in the industry for over 10 years now. I know I only look around, but... <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe you've yeah, been in the industry so long. It, it's, um, you know, I started off wanting really to work in Formula One. Love, like I said, love motorsport. And, and then I realized there's a lot of travel to that around the world and stuff, which, you know, I'm a bit of a homeboy. I like you staying yeah. at home. So um, I got into car seats after test testing F1 cars. They're actually really similar. It's you know, not same a massive principles. jump, is it? Yeah, um, and I just found it more emotive, more exciting, protecting you know, hundreds of children, thousands of children who don't have a choice what car seat they're put in or how, how they're looked after. Whereas, you know, Formula One, it's 20 guys who are all very wealthy and all choose to drive and that's, to do what yeah, they, that's they their like. Choice, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I just it just really excites me, the design and, and use of car seats. And then since having um, my children, it, again, it's evolved my thinking on it. Yeah, you know. we've seen it from the practical side as well and seeing what parents actually need from yeah, the car seats. Yeah, you know, real children are so much different to crash test tummies. <laughs> yeah. you <know>. Really? Uh, <laughs> it's like, Not feed uh, them and they poo. Yeah, <laughs> a, yeah a bit messier, but uh, <laughs> lo lots more fun. But, you know, having that experience of using my old, yeah. own children in the car seat as well, that really sort of helps to develop our products because we, you know, we get a feel for it. Then you see, okay, that we could do that differently. We could tune that. Um, and now when they're getting older, they start giving you feedback as well. Yeah, <laughs> Dad, so next time you do it, can we have this on the side? Yeah, yeah, it, it's great. But um, now that's where my, my passion has come from. <laughs> yeah, no, it's what we like to hear. Everybody knows, oh, they're loving the passion. That's what they said. <laughs> Uh, great that it grows at the same rate as the child. Your passion for the seat is reassuring about how great it is. Um, Sky said she'd love to have that sort of job. Um, all this, they're all saying that it's lovely how, how you have so much passion for the car seats. <laughs> I've liked hearing all the background info as well. I think that's sort of some of the thing. If, you, if you're reading online, or that's why we love doing the lives and having the experts in, because you can only read so much online and it's kind of like some some advice is a little bit different and you're not really yeah, sure but yeah. having somebody in actually knows things inside out it's yeah, brilliant it's, to have it's it's a very difficult one because there's you know there's obviously a lot of different brands in the market and everyone's got their different kind of approach to car mm -hmm. safety and and that just makes it so confusing you know your yeah. first first time parent you've got all this stuff to consider your wheels your push chair your, your, your nursery and and the car seat and all this change to your life you know, it's life changing yeah. isn't it and then when you, you you do that research you realize wow there's like so much to digest and you know well, we choice. wanted to just make that simple um great live well done guys well done hamish says claire <laughs> carol says exactly <laughs> Thanks, what i need right now um so many children take out of car seats too soon this would hopefully prevent that yeah and that for people to know when to change the stage you've only got to look at the side on one car seat you've not got to think about buying another car seat um, longevity wise last them yeah yeah I mean we kind of break it down you know baby toddler child you know it's yeah. all the stages covered and 
you know, as long as you can kind of keep note of those stages, you, you'll be okay. Yeah, you'll you just need to know, just keep an eye on their um, height or length and also um, their weights as well, just to know when you need to change anything. Um, I have a four-year-old, a two-year-old and a ten-week-old baby and still learning something new every day. <laughs> yeah, with how things change, it, it, you do need to keep on top of the latest advice. I'm just seeing if there's any questions. Lots of information, thank you. Sometimes it's hard to understand when reading online. These sort of videos make things so much easier. That's why we like the lives, it's interactive. So if you've got a question, we can just yeah, we can answer yeah. it there, there and then, Please, can't we? if anyone does have any questions, make them as tough or as, as odd or as oh, interesting as you like. I like it. challenge. He's testing you now, look. Um, but yeah, we, we've um, already had some product reviews come back on this uh, right. product ready. So yep. um, the independent, um, newspaper they reviewed yep. it and uh, gave it a best overall car seat with oh, a brilliant. nine out of ten um, auto express did a review last week five out of five stars um, and the reviewer used it with their children as well you know real yeah. thorough review so the feedback is already really fantastic that's good um, to hear it's good parent absolutely. reviews is what people like to hear as well we find it with ours if we've got any parent reviews they always win over just a standard review because yeah. people using it they pick up on the little things that maybe you don't normally so yeah it, it's so important to get that that feedback of how it's used in the market mm -hmm. we can test it in the crash lab all day long but you know yeah. when you're putting it like i said when you put your child in it, it yeah. all changes absolutely um what does it retail at marissa's asked that's an important question um, so the retail price for the motion all size 360 is 375 pounds um, which you think you might think wow that's a lot of money for for a car seat but when you break up into what the other option is if you have to mm. buy those three car seats which you'd use traditionally well, you might spend 200 pounds on an infant car it's gonna last you a year yeah exactly and then you need a you, you might want a base for that which is yep. normally another 100 200 pounds <clears throat> yep. and then your next seat you, you could be looking at around six seven hundred pounds for the seat you should Spend need yeah. for your child whereas you know this you've got three three seven five um great level of safety with the r129 crash testing and the rotation you've kind of got all the boxes ticked yeah um, and the other thing about that is you don't need to worry you know about storing the seats when you're not using it because no. or to know just know what to do with them yeah because they know, know we usually say just be careful when you're buying second hand seats yeah because you don't know the history on them if they've been in collisions but yeah it kind of it just gets rid of a lot of queries for a lot of people yeah uh, it's 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 exactly that and you know, it's, it's that sort of story when you put the seat up in the loft and you, you bring it back down. Is it still good to use? Yeah. It's, it's something Mouse to worry about. Mouse has had a little nibble on the side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they get peckish. Um, and, and also, if you're living in an apartment in the city or anything, you don't have that storage space. No. You don't need to worry about it. No, it's in the car for 12 years. There you go. Someone is very lucky to win this. Definitely worth the money considering you won't need to buy another one. Um, Defo going to look into one of these for her next baby and fantastic price for the length of time. Um, somebody's asked about payment plans, so I suppose that's me answering that. <laughs> uh, yes, we've got Klarna, Clearpay and Lay Buy on the website and PayPal. So you can use any of those options at checkout um, and when you do it and you can pre-order on the website for August delivery as well. Every choice. Yeah, lots need. of choices, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, just join, join, does the Isofix base come with it? It's not an Isofix base as such, it's, it's just part of the seat yeah it? it comes completely together so you don't disconnect the seat from the base you get everything together for that price everything in one box um, for 375 yeah. um, quite often you might have seats like this where they're connected to base and then you need to take it off and turn it around yeah you don't rotate um, this is all all together one you've one not system. got messed about taking anything off yeah or? no no panicking no worrying there um, one thing we didn't touch upon on the base we have a rebound bar on the seat Oh, so yeah. uh, when you're having it in the rear facing, you've got this rebound bar here. It makes the seat very sturdy into the vehicle, but it also adds a little bit more space there for the little one's legs as they're growing. Which is um, one of the big reasons that people say, I need to forward face my child now because they say, no, they don't have leg room. And... Yeah, I mean, the children are flexible, so the legs are okay. Yeah. Um, it's as long as we protect the head and the spine. They're the really important parts. Yeah, they'll cross um, their legs, won't they? They'll put them up on the seat. I did a post a, a couple of weeks ago and it was my son, Tristan, in his rear facing seat. It's three and a half. And it was different ways that he has his legs. So he'll have yeah. them up sometimes, he'll cross them. Um, he'll put them either side. They do all sorts, yeah, don't they? They're, and completely. they don't like to sit on their seats with their legs just hanging. They don't like to sit normally. No, <laughs> That's what we found. Um, yeah. we, did our, um, we did some photo shoots for the product a few weeks back. Um, 
and we had a different stage of children in it and getting them to normally was impossible no. so in the end we're like well let's make sure you're safe and comfortable yeah. but you can do what you like with legs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is the rebound bar padded and um, it is because yeah. often rebound bars are just kind of plastic or maybe just a bit of foam over them but that yeah. has got a cover we've over we've got it. that padding and there's a few reasons for that um you know for the comfort but also in times like uh, today when we've got a really hot weather that can get quite hot yeah, especially yeah. If it's plastic mm -hmm. so we don't want you know you don't want little ones feet to touch on that hot no. plastic so we put that cover on there it's velcroed on as well so you can remove it it's washable um, so yeah it's to offer that comfort and to mm. make it you know good fit into the vehicle yeah um, cost doesn't come into it when buying car seats says Lucy people should never base their decisions on price safety every time um, what age do you recommend rear facing? Rachel's asked. Yeah, um, we kind of covered that before, didn't we? Just as long as you can. Yeah, it, it, exactly that. And um, you know, as long as you can um, fit them into the rear facing, that's how long you should use it. You've got their limits um, yeah, on the seat, on the seat. To, to go by. Yeah. Um, great payment plans, and after buying from you guys before, uh, postage is so fast and customer service is spot on. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Um, I just saw something else and I was going to reply to and I can't see it. Oh, Jess said that we spent more than uh, more than that in four car seats with our now 11-year-old daughter. Won't be making the same mistake with their four-month-old. <laughs> yeah, it gets very expensive. Yeah, but yeah, you know, we're trying to include all that safety in there. You know, it's, if you break it down to the years, it's like £35 a year, give yeah, or take. Yeah, so it's not. Um, it, to get a really great product that you've got that longevity. Yeah, no, it's definitely worth it. Right, should we draw our winner? If, yes. if, we've, if we've covered everything, if nobody's got any more questions, we can draw our winner. Exciting. So moment. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll through. You tell me when to stop and then I'll stop on our winner. Okay. All right. Need a drum roll. You do. <laughs> okay, let's stop now. Now, our winner is Soph Newton. Ooh. Congratulations, Soph. I'm just going to put a little congratulations underneath your comment well done so well done if you want to just message the page with your details your delivery address your telephone number and email them uh, email address for the courier and we'll get one um, either ourselves or silver cross will get one sent out to you as soon as they are launched and released yeah congratulations and um hope you enjoy using the product yes absolutely we'd love to see pictures once you've got little one in there so congratulations um, thank you so much for joining us today Hamish. it's been really That's informative been people have good. loved the car seat passion and uh, the love in the motion all size 360 as well i think brilliant well thank you for having me it looked, no uh, it's been fun all right <laughs> thanks for joining us everybody we'll see you again soon